These boats are like floating fire engines on the water. The Port of San Diego's Harbor Police Department is home to new and advanced multi-purpose vessels designed to enhance public safety on San Diego Bay. What we have here is uh, our new police fire vessel. These new vessels will be replacing 30-year-old uh, vessels that have been in service uh, obviously for a very long time. Uh, this is a 39-foot firestorm which is manufactured by a company called Metalcraft in Canada. This is the state-of-the-art technology that uh, we have been seeking uh, for our patrol functions and our firefighting functions. The Harbor Police Department patrols and protects the Tidelands in San Diego Bay, which includes five member cities from San Diego to Coronado, Chula Vista, National City and Imperial Beach. Well, the area that, that we cover, uh, including the bay, we have 22 square miles of, of water that we cover uh, with uh, vessels 24-7. So it's very important that we have a uh, very good strategy for protecting the bay, protecting the port, and protecting the entire region. The department's 35-year-old fleet has served them well. But Harbor Police say upkeep on these older vessels cost them around $80,000 a year. In addition, the EPA developed new guidelines for the marine environment that would require all vessels to be in compliance by 2014. Harbor Police were looking at having to retrofit all of our, our fleet with new engines to meet that compliance. That coupled with the amount of money that we were spending on maintaining the vessels, the decision was made department-wide that we needed to basically look into getting new, a whole new fleet of vessels uh, to do our firefighting functions on the water. These boats exceed the, the minimum requirements that we needed to come up with for emissions control. It also has onboard systems which prevent any fuel spillage overboard. Harbor police officers patrolling the bay never know when they will encounter a fire. That is why officers who serve are required to receive full fire training. The firefighter training that uh, our officers are required to participate in is all done in-house. We have a number of firefighting instructors on board here at Harbor Police and they have uh, a lot of experience in marine firefighting and really have a passion for it because it is a very dangerous aspect of our job uh, as if uh, being a police officer wasn't dangerous enough. There are times where we may need to board a burning vessel to, uh, to pull people off. In 2009, the department was awarded a $1.9 million state grant to subsidize the purchase of all hazards equipment. That includes this vessel, which serves a multi-role function for first responders. It's basically an exciting time for the department because it allows us to go to the next level in our response as firefighters on the water and patrol officers. As far as the capabilities, the vessels, our response times are, will be cut in half and we have more than double